Hey everyone, it's Marta here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will do some tests. So I'm going to introduce you uh, to brand new products from Lindy Stamp Gang. I haven't tried them myself. I didn't uh, play. So this is going to be a live test uh, while I record it. And I'm really excited, looking forward to share the experience and my opinion about those. Uh, those are magical shakers, 10 beautiful colors. We have 10 brand new colors of embossing powders. We're going to try them, test them. So let's start. Mm, your main question would be, what are those? Basically those are magical powders, those are pigments uh, in the little uh, jars like that and the probably first ever question you will ask me, what's the difference between magicals and magical shakers? Because many of you know I have used those plenty 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 times and I have always played with those and really loved them, enjoyed them and so on and the difference between those is that firstly the magicals are sold in packs of five different sort of packs there's a huge range of colors and the choice is uh, the choice is massive so uh, and those are packed in those uh, sets which uh, the magical shakers they are sold individually and they're for fifty dollar each and they they're formulated a bit differently than the magicals only in color um they, we, that's why they're still called magicals because really they are magical same way as those but um, the color formulas are it's a combination of flats and starburst so for those who are not really too into too much of a shimmer but they still like a little bit of blink this will be perfect because it's just uh, they're not flat they're not shimmer they just have a little uh, a little shimmer in them and we have a beautiful range of basic colors that we're gonna try now as you can also see and uh, the packaging is different and I would hope we're gonna try it now I hope it's gonna be actually easier and better in use than uh, a little jar so let's start let's test them I'm gonna move that away um, beforehand I prepared those uh, modeling paste stencil on watercolor paper so we can try and test let's start and let's, let's sprinkle as you can see we have this different uh, different sort of opening than the, the, the regular magicals because they were coming in the pots like that and what we had to do is that we had to dip in our brush into it which here it's like a salt and pepper thing um, I'm not too sure how to call it differently basically you have those little holes and then you have this bit which is actually bigger if you need more so let's sprinkle some color oh it's much easier straight away it's much easier in comparison to using the uh, the little jars but I'm not saying this is it's wrong because we all like different things but most definitely this is straight away a nice way of adding the powder to our page. I'm really excited I have to say because I was waiting for this product so much uh, and crossing my fingers for them and I was delighted to see the packaging is different just simply as that I was really really excited to see and I know that you love magicals me too and I know that many of you have fell in love and really use them uh, and create, you are creating amazing amazing things with them so I hope those will be in your favor as well so I just sprinkled some um, shakers magical powder here and I'm gonna just spray the water and there we have the magic look at the colors hmm absolutely stunning absolutely stunning that is I love the color flow I love how the color run in between the stencil you can add a little more if you wish and maybe a little more of orange here and this a little more of that and maybe a little more of that I love this one this particular color my new favorite Oompa Pa Pink <laughs> crazy names isn't it so you see it's very much pigmented the vibrancy of the color is sensational oh, look at that 
How gorgeous is this? How gorgeous. So I'm going to leave that to dry and I will use some tissue because I'm hoping to use that tissue later on in my project. So that's what I'm doing recently, collecting my wipes and not throwing them away but actually collecting them always when I... You can see how much pigment is there, like loads, I mean crazy loads. There we go. And let's do the test on the other colors which are green. As you can see we have this nice basic set of colors and those are absolutely fabulous so far. Oops, so good. So far so good. Now, I cannot wait to see them. I love the the shaker thing. I absolutely love the idea. I'm delighted this came in this version now because it's so much easier to sprinkle and control the amount of of powder actually. Look at that. How gorgeous and stunning is this. Oh my. Magic. Isn't it? Oh wow. Wow. I love that so much. I'm gonna leave that to dry and clean this. Um, this page has also stenciling but I used uh, 3D transparent heavy gel medium so I really uh, I really do wonder how this will be. I'm only sprinkling a little bit and I'm gonna test all of the colors right now one after another and I hope to make some sort of rainbow <laughs> some sort of rainbow look uh, we see if this will work. You don't really need much pigment you have to remember that <clears throat> the pigment itself it's very much concentrated it has really uh, plenty of a color itself so you don't have to use a lot and it will last you forever. I don't think I ever finished any magicals. Okay, I have quite a number of pots, but still um, you just you just use and use and use. I will show you also what ad other things you can do with them in a minute. But for now let's let's sprinkle and let's see how gorgeous is this. Okay. We need a little tiny bit of more water and that's what I'm talking about. Yay! Gorgeous, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> I was thinking to use a different pattern and to test it again because the rainbow effect we have here it's spectacular and it's the easiest way ever uh, to make a rainbow so perfect, uh, perfectly blend in together isn't it? So I know uh, it's the same thing but we have different pattern and I'm really curious, I'm really curious so let's just do a quick test. Let's do it again. Uh, I don't mind doing it again because I think it's worth to have a look. So. Uh, for those who are skipping the video in any way, I am using watercolor paper. I think it's because the Magicals are reacting with water, I think it's the easiest to actually uh, to actually use a watercolor paper so the color will nicely react with water and it will just move in better and not soak in to the page as such. And as I said before, you don't need much you don't need much uh, pigment, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Okay, three more to go and I'm really, really excited. <laughs> I, you know I love color and recently I am just all about color and I love watercolors now and I'm doing brush markers. I am in color so much. So those ones are really rocking my boat big time. 
Let's spray it. This is the fun part, isn't it? Oh my. Oh, don't go that way. Water. Oh, I moved too much. That's okay. Gorgeous. I'm loving that so much. Where's my paper? I wiped that. There we go. Two gorgeous rainbow effects. Absolutely stunning. Honestly, um, this is actually, yes, this texture is made from transparent 3D gel and this one is the uh, ordinary modeling paste. Both of them are Prima Marketing from Finn and I have to say for some reason the effect that it gives me on the page with the texture made from gel medium, I prefer that look over this one, over this one, this with the gel medium, 3D gel medium texture rather than this. I love both but something is nice about the about the um, gel medium thing so that's what we have two diff two two pretty rainbows mm, so this is what we have those are nearly dry the first two pages and you can see the tiny bit of shimmer and that's exactly what the product this product is about for those who are liking the shimmer but not so much so I hope the camera is able to pick this up it's a very very tiny nice shimmer have a look at this one the pages are nearly dry when they were wet I couldn't see the shimmer and I was like okay okay oh I think in this part you can see nicely so it's a tiny shimmer which is nice and it's still looking flat when you put it like that so we have those uh, pages here this is also nearly dry which I love like come on this is gorgeous very very pretty I moved the paper down here like that so the rainbow went this way which here I moved on the side a little bit and you can see how different brown and different shades we have here so now I think it's a time to see what else we can do another thing you can do is just use a spray bottle have a water in there and simply as that uh, maybe I will use the bigger part and simply add some oh you can already see tiny amount and it's already changing the <laughs> color can you see wait I'll close that and I hope oh it's already mixed <laughs> so basically you can uh, you can spray directly on your page right and use as a spray if you will add more pigment let's add more and see how much this will change so as more pigment you add the darker it gets. Uh, I didn't use that much pigment, no I didn't, so this is another option for you to use. Another one important is mix your mix your uh, magicals, magical shakers with let's say gesso here I put, then we have modeling paste there we go and then we have 3D gel medium those are the basic of course you can experiment and try to do differently different try to do different things but those would be the basic ones so let's just add maybe because it's sprinkled already in there let's just add something here then maybe this nice delicate and what about which else what else would nicely match to this mix mm, the blue maybe the purple sure the purple why not okay so you can see it it mixes beautifully I'm gonna pick, bring the camera closer can you see oh no it's out of focus is it sorry I'm sorry anyway I hope you can see it 
it mixes gorgeous like really well I'm gonna test that through the stencil now and then I'll need another spatula <clears throat> in order to mix my other paste here so this one is transparent 3d med gel medium this one is just a modeling paste you could use it and mix it with your um, acrylic paint, white acrylic paint for example, or you could do it just ordinary soft matte gel. Oh, there's plenty ways you can you can do it. It's up to yourself really how you're gonna, uh, how you will improvise and experiment. Like, it's a gorgeous mix. Look at that. Really, like, <laughs> really, 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 really. Okay, where's my paper? I have it here. I hope you will be able to see. Let me move because I am out of your view. Let go. Okay. And maybe another stencil. Maybe, maybe this one. And before you ask, those are the, the Crafters Workshop stencils. I like them very much. Okay, so this is what we have. Wait, okay, now even <laughs> even this mixes nicely. Like really, look at that. Even with the different, <laughs> even with the different next door color and different texture. Sorry, can you see? You can. Thankfully, thankfully you can. Oops. There we go. Obviously, uh, the the gesso thing is the least uh, thick, so it's the hardest to work with but there we go look at this yummy thing uh, oh my I absolutely love it love 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 it have a look at this gorgeous so colors like you can't go wrong with those amazing colors uh, to not waste anything I have my um, it's my journal made from envelopes. I have the video, I had the video for you on my channel so you can have a look. I'll give you a link maybe. There we go. And I will kind of try to reuse it again. So scrape that. What's on top. And I really don't pay attention on the color now on anything. I just wish to not waste the powder basically, the, the, the pigment. It would be just a waste, so I can use that on my pages and hopefully use it. So, even now, <laughs> look at that. It's already stunning, it's gorgeous, and it, it's like kind of from leftovers, but yet it's beautiful. Let's move on. I'm gonna put that aside, and I will maybe do some experiment, which will be, which will be a little bit of stamping here. I love that. Because the pigment is so big, it's like plenty of the color. You can really, there we go, stoner. Same with this one. You can really use it like plenty times as you can see yourself. Like really, really. It's a good buy, great buy. With my heart, I'm telling you honestly. There we go. Not only because of the uh, sprinkling technique itself but you can see you can make uh, sprays with it you can mix with different things uh, so it is gorgeous gorgeous product I'm back but I'm trying to pick up even the <laughs> last bits from from my table because I think the improvised part which is like now it is actually giving us this surprisingly beautiful effects just because we don't really control what we're doing and I think it's it's fabulous idea. There we go. Gorgeous. 
That's it, my friends. Uh, I don't think I have to try to convince you for that product because all of that speaks for itself. Uh, just to sum, sum everything up before you will ask what's the difference between Magicals and Magical Shakers. First difference, the packaging is different. Those are little jars, those are little shakers like a salt and pepper with two different openings and you can use it the way as you wish and it's easier to work with. But of course it depends what you what you prefer. The other difference is that uh, the Magicals are sold only in sets, which those will be uh, sold individually for $50 per piece. And we have a gorgeous set of 10 rainbow colors matching together. Also, you have Magicals that are uh, shimmery and you have flats, like, let me grab it, like here, it's written flat. So you have very shimmery, oh no, sorry, that's flat as well. <laughs> so you have just magical, which is shimmery, flat, which is flat, no shimmer. And those little beauties are a mix of those two. Basically, you have a little, little shimmer. And of course, all the colors are brand new, different shades, so uh, absolutely stunning. Let me know what you think. Uh, they will be sold, so they will be selling them after CHA, after Creativation. So I hope you will uh, get your hands on those beauties because they're really worth uh, And I hope you will enjoy it and I hope you like the video. So stay tuned for more because I have some awesome videos prepared for you. Thank you for your time. As always, uh, yours, Marta, and I'll chat you soon. Bye.